born and raised in Brooklyn, yes. New York. You yes. know, so many great champions: Floyd Patterson, Riddick Bowe, yeah. Mark, Mark Breland, Mark Breland Mike Tyson, you know, Tyson, Harris, Zab Judah. Zab Judah. Um, I mean, it go goes on, on and on and on and on. <laughs> and on, and on you know. <laughs> so, and I wanted to ask you about, and and then you know, you you had you had some um, trouble, you know, and stuff yeah. like when you were growing up and stuff yeah. like that. You always get into fights, and I know your dad yes. wanted you to use that energy in the boxing ring. Yes. So you went into the Bed Stuy Boxing Club. Talk about well, you know, that well, experience. You know, up well. Club. I used to move around a lot when I was younger. Mm -hmm. You know, I o I'm always I always was a good student. You know, but mm -hmm. for like when I was in when I, when I, went, when I, when I was in I moved back to, I moved to Canarsie mm -hmm. from Best Times mm -hmm. to Canarsie and everything. And um, for whatever reason, I was just I was a kid just getting into trouble, trying to impress the girls, mm -hmm. trying to um, impress the guys, you, and get into fights. Somebody said your mother. Like what you said? It, it was a fight right there. Hey, hey, I was getting know. suspended. You know, you know how Brooke, you know how yeah, it is. It's yeah, like an ego yeah. thing. It's like a um, NY in general. Yeah. NYC. You know, <laughs> it's big. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So um, I was getting suspended. I wasn't going. To, I was. Um, I was getting suspended. I wasn't doing the right thing in school, and I was hanging, starting to hang out with the wrong guys. So my dad decided. To, my, dad, my dad decided to say, "Listen, man, I don't want you go, hanging out after school mm -hmm. with." With these guys, you know, um, I wonder if you'd be winning these fights when you're hanging out, whatever it's net. Mm -hmm. So he said, I have an idea. Take me down to the boxing, Best Side Boxing Club. We went down there, and I fell in love with the sport from day one. Yeah. So my dad, he used that to, he used that as leverage. Mm -hmm. If you don't do good in school, you can't go down to the gym. Wow. wow. You know, my my grades improved like that. Mm -hmm. Like seriously, like I ain't with the teacher calling my house. I just, I, it was a focus. You know, seriously, like, cause I didn't want my dad saying, like, Sean, you can't go to the gym. Like, really? Mm -hmm. You know, so I, I, I stepped up. You know, you know what? I went to college. Yes. You, you know, I, I didn't finish. I didn't finish. I, I, I did two years in school, in college. Mm -hmm. um, I was trying to get my criminal justice degree. Mm -hmm. But I first started in business, account, business and accountant, mm -hmm. and then I wanted to switch over. I was like, man, this is too much. I want to focus more on my boxing career, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and that's what I did. But I'm going, to, I'm going to finish up and go back to. What made you pick Northern uh, Michigan University? Um, was a scholarship. Mm, okay. Um, nice. I got, a, I got a, was, was it a, box a boxing scholarship? scholarship? Oh, okay. The United right. States Olympic Educational Center. Mm -hmm. They, they came, they seen me in the nationals when I won the nationals in '97, mm -hmm. and they came, and uh, Al Mitchell, mm, um, yeah. he came up to me, and we started talking. Him and my dad started talking, and. Um, um, we talked about us going to school. They offered me a scholarship. Um, it was like it was a life changing thing, you mm -hmm. know. A kid from mm -hmm. Brooklyn, and you start to see boxing took me so many places. Like yes, really, like yes, from an inner city kid from Brooklyn, New York, you know, born and raised, and it took me anywhere from Brooklyn to New York to Russia. Mm -hmm. Honestly, mm -hmm. you know, I've been around and I've been traveling since I was 15 years old. Wow. You know, yes, and yes. And, and, and tournaments and. Um, Boxing fights, and you know, it's it's, it's a great experience. Mm -hmm. You know, and boxing saves a lot of lives, and people underestimate that too. Wow, that's mm -hmm. for sure. And, yeah. and I wonder, and Lennox Blackmore, yes, you know, your uncle, and yes. you know, he challenged uh, Aaron, the Aaron great Pryor. Aaron Pryor yes. in 1981, yeah. when, and then he fought Antonio Cervantes. Yes. I mean, he's fought two of the best, in the you world. know, Junior Welters ever. Yeah, you know, you know what? what? I didn't even know he fought them. Fought them. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. Honestly, that's that's a, you know, but um, yeah, you know. Yeah, boxing is in my lessons? blood. What lessons did he give you, know, you and stuff uh, like my that? Boxing mm -hmm. is in my blood. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. like when, when I started out boxing, it was me and my whole bunch of my other cousins mm -hmm. and everything. You know, I, I'm, I'm just like the last man standing out of everybody else. Mm -hmm. But um, you know, he used to train me when I was younger. You know, I mean, he always told me um, he he acts I, like I almost pattern my style after him, mm -hmm. so to speak. You mm -hmm. know, like mm -hmm. um, I look at a, I'm a very very studious person when it comes to boxing. You know, mm -hmm. um, I've been doing it since I was 12 years old. And my, my uncle, you know, is like a love hate relationship, you okay. know, with, with me, with him and I. But um, but you know, we we talk. We don't speak in terms and everything else. New York Golden Gloves champion, yes. 1996, 1997, 178 yeah. pound division. Yes. And um, you know, 16, 17 years old. You know, yeah, yeah. that's <laughs> impressive, and that's the yeah. thing. You will fight it now. You're in the finals. What were the ages of your opponents? Because usually the ages yeah. fluctuate. Yeah, it's fluctuate. Um, well, I was 16 when I started the first tournament, mm -hmm. and, I, and I turned 17 in the middle, mm -hmm. like actually in the semifinals around that time okay. and everything okay. else. And then I was 17 and 18 mm -hmm. the next mm -hmm. year. Um, and it was anywhere from, um, I never fought anybody under 20, 22. That's that's impressive. That's Honestly. Because you're, you know? you're, you're facing men. Yes, these, these men, are men, men versus boys. boys. It, was, it was a big experience, you know. Um, 
I remember my first, my first, my very first fight in the Golden Gloves, and I fought this guy. I want to say Jamil, mm -hmm. right? I can't remember his name. I'm sorry, <laughs> right? But um, you may well get, come out of retirement. I know, and try to... <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> and and then when I when I walked up to the table, they called my name. They called his name. He's from Sorry City, mm -hmm. Boston Cub, and they said, "Oh, you all guys fighting each other." And I looked at him, and he looked at me like. Like a kid, like he's a kid, you know, in his neck, you know, and that, like I said, I'm competitive, I'm very competitive. Like, mm -hmm. I can you don't look at me that way, <laughs> like, <laughs> right, I'm nothing, right? Anyway, I ended up stopping him, yeah, in the second round. Um, I went through, yeah, your opponent. and mm -hmm. I went and I went through the whole tournament, he's easy. So, a friend of mine said, You can't do that again, and that's why I fought in the gloves the second time, mm -hmm. you know, and I won the golden gloves the second time. But people always doubt me, and, and you know what, I'm a product of determination. You know what I mean? If you say I can't do something, I want to do it even more. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't think I could be a world champion, and now that's what I'm aiming for right now. Mm -hmm. But right now, my goal is to be number one in the world.